what is this? Diaries of a Bearded Man? Diaries of a man with regrets over the last hairdresser he went to see. I thought you the hell I'm doing up here with that. Well, it's fine. We don't know what we're doing most of the time. <laughs> True. By the time we got all of the beams in place, it was already getting dark outside. So we got everything bolted into place as best as we could. And then Josh came back around the next day and got everything permanently locked into place. Yeah, so I took angle brackets and put them around all the posts and lag bolted them in and lag bolted them into the post itself. Once that was all said and done, I didn't really recall the measurements or the pitch of the roof. So I went back up there with my uh, speed square, figured out, figured out the angle and went ahead and made the uh, roof rafter, the mock-up. So we can come out here today and bang it out as quickly as possible. Yes, so this is our last day with the rental machine. Yes. So we really want to get all of the rafters up there mm -hmm. and get all of the- Sheathing up too. Yes. We're at the mercy of the weather still. So yes. doing the best we can. Yep. So we're gonna put our ridge beam up and we're gonna splice it to this ridge beam. I have plates gonna go on, it's gonna slide back here. We're gonna screw it all together, the holes in place. We're gonna take our uh, rafters up tight to here and it's all gonna get both together. Um, we're not putting any weight on top of this beam right here. This is strictly ornamental. Uh, it is gonna hold a chandelier, an exterior chandelier down the center, but no weight from the roof is gonna go on here. We're screwing down a one inch board, an inch and a half board to give us two and a half inches. And the ridge beam is actually gonna sit on top of here um, this is temporary, but once we get the ridge beam up and we get a few of the rafters up, this can come out. But for now, it's going to hold a proper elevation that needs to be. Alright, that's that one. That's one. beams up. Now we're going to set the rafters up. We'll go ahead and set this guy in place. Let him sit against that. We'll put him in. We'll screw him into the other rafter. We'll come to the other side and do the same thing. Alright, so I'm going to pull up the underlayment real quick staple to the rafter now. I'll pull it up, slide him in, and I'm going to screw him in directly to this rafter. Then I'll go ahead and support him or strap him to the ridge beam. And that's how we're going to lock these guys in and then we'll start every 16 inches coming down with the other rafters.
So we got the first four rafters up. They fit nicely. So the ridge beam is solid in place. So we got 10 more to do in the middle. And the biggest issue that we're having is Aaron wants to puke every time she goes up there that high. And it gets worse. We got to pick something up and maneuver it a little bit. She wants to throw up instantly. I think, I think today is going to be a better day though because these are lighter. They I are think, lighter. I think the worst part was the size of those beams. That I think that was contributing to it. I don't know. The bridge beam wasn't heavy either, either though. Look, but I'm just not cut out for this. <laughs> this the, get, maneuvering that six by six in the other day was a little tough. You won't believe how many times she makes me go up and down, up and down with that camera. <laughs> it drives me nuts. There's only one camera here, guys. And only one camera man. May. <laughs> <laughs> So right now, this is my goal, okay? So right now, our workspace is a little cluster. So we're gonna take him, put him up, move over, put him up. We'll mark everything, we'll slot him over, we'll bang, 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 and then we'll bang, bang tonight. Okay. <laughs> Josh! <laughs> Huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. For those of you who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering a variety of topics from graphic design to web development to my personal favorites, film and photography. Amy Vitali has a class called Documentary Photography, Capturing Places and People. During the class, Amy says, don't move, just look around and let the life come to you. Rather than searching for shots, just be still and beautiful things will unfold right before your eyes. Many of you have reached out to me personally after having taken other classes I've recommended. So for those of you, here is another class you're not going to want to miss. And whether you've never picked up a camera before, like me three years ago, or if you're experienced in photography, there's a Skillshare class out there to suit your level of experience, yet also challenge you. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever you're creating takes you. The first thousand subscribers to click the link in the description box below will get a free one month trial of Skillshare so that you too can start exploring your creativity. Now let's get back to the build. Ah, right, good enough. So let's get to the other side, do the same thing. Tight spot, dude. Josh, I'm, I'm going to be sick. I'm, I'm in a tight. I'm in a tight spot. So I had to turn it around. Now I'm good. Now you can relax. I'm not. A, I'm not relaxed. I'm not relaxed. Okay. Is that a little too much for you, back and forth. It's way too much. It's all some powers on a uh, articulating lift. That's what it is. Uh, so we're moving. We got two more sets here, and we got, I guess, two one more set on the very front. So three total left and down.
All right, so we have two rafters to install. We're gonna cut the ridge beam a little bit, it's a little long, and uh, we, we're gonna sheave the entire thing. You gotta tape it too. All right, that involves you hanging out the lift a little bit and uh, rolling it up and down. I, I'm, I'm nauseous just looking at the lift right now. I'm nauseous by looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> so we are all done with the majority of the rafters. We only yeah, have- Two left. Yes, one set. It started raining last night, so we called it quits. Yes, but the good news is Josh was able to call and lock us in with that. Rest of the week. Sky so, lift, yeah. yes. So uh, I had it for two days. I wanted to get it for the week so I could have it do random stuff around the, the property. And uh, they said they didn't have anything available. So I got it, had it for two days on the weekend and somebody canceled. Yes. Lucky me. Yes, so now we get it for the full week so we can take care of all of this kind of stuff rather than having to worry about doing it on ladders. Yes. Or and the price like difference between getting it for a day and with the delivery versus keeping it for a week, it's like astronomical difference. It's, 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 you do pay more money for the week, obviously, but it's not like the one day rental fee would have cost. So yeah. you get, you get a lot more use for the week, obviously. Yes. But the sweet spot is if you can order it for a Friday and then you get to use it Friday and Saturday and Sunday, cause they won't pick it up till Monday. Correct. You pay one day for that one. Yes. So that's the sweet spot. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing up here with that. Well, that's fine. We don't know what we're doing most of the time unless we're doing electrical work, and then you're the only one who knows what we're doing. True. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> I left all the rafters long. I didn't cut the tails of them off. Um, why? I'm not sure why, I tell you. I probably should have. But uh, now that they're up, I'm gonna cut them real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna go a little bit closer, is that okay? Yeah. He's not gonna go anywhere, okay? Can you just hold that? I must be holding over a little bit. Just, just reach out a little bit. You, he's all right. He's okay. My arm. You're okay. My right. arms are up. If it does tip on us, stop! It's, don't, don't give me if it the does. The best thing to do is just jump out and hold on to the to the sheathing. Are you being serious? That's serious. Just messing with me? What else can you do? You can ride it down. I'm not. I'm just <laughs> hopping right on out. Oh, on the sheathing, you know. George Costanza here. You'll probably push me out of the way. I'll throw you first. <laughs> you know. Okay, so this whole side has the zip board up. So yes. we're ready to start getting the tape on there, getting everything smoothed out, and then we can flop and do the other side. Yes, so when I bought this, I bought this a few months ago, the zip boards. Um, I was actually looking for OSB, getting a price for everything. So I went to my local 84 Lumber. Keep in mind, I live in the middle of nowhere. We have an 84 Lumber. Um, somebody ordered zip boards early 2020. I guess never picked it up. So 
the zip boards were going for $25 each while the LSB, the standard 716's LSB was going for $65 each, so. It was a deal he couldn't pass up, of I, course. I, I bought everything they had on hand. Yeah. So I've been keeping it in my trailer the entire time and now I'm putting it to good use. Yeah, so, so we're pretty excited about I, that. I got, some, I got some more to do on that side when we get to do that portion of the roof too. Yeah. So, pretty excited about it. I saved a lot of money for a better product on top of it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you got <laughs> I almost died. I almost died. I got hoodie your pants and you'll fall out. You're, you're okay. Carry on. You should probably put up harness on, dude. I got harness for you. You have a harness? Yeah, I have two harness and two lanyards, yes. All this time you've had us up here? I thought that the rental company was supposed to bring the... No, I got two of my own. I bought two, two new ones um, about six months ago. And they're just sitting in the barn? No, they're sitting in the powerhouse. They're that close? Right over there. Yeah. When were you planning on telling me of a harness? When I almost fall out of the bucket? It's more, it's more like a basket. Okay. No, no big deal. Just in time, dude. Just in time. 